Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about overtraining, specifically the message screw overtraining. You need to be more worried about under training. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. So it's been a while since I talked about overtraining. And I think because uh, we're a little bit more educated in 2021, there's less of a fear of overtraining than there's ever been. But for those of you that still fear overtraining, I have a couple things to say. Number one is that you're at more risk of undertraining than you are overtraining. And number two, when you kind of feel like a little bit worked during a, a program that's harder than normal, that's not overtraining. That's generally a sign you haven't been working hard enough to begin with. So let's, let's talk about that because it's kind of the same message. Undertraining, um, not working hard enough. If you watched my video yesterday, I talked about the question, can I add arm work on, on uh, rest days? No, you're, you, you should be working hard enough where you really want a rest day. You're looking forward to a rest day. You don't have to feel beat up or punished or whatever. But mentally and physically, you should be pretty much ready you know, for a rest day. But the average individual um, that comes to me for coaching... Uh, you know, when I put them on a program, I don't obviously put them on what I'm doing because I'm a, a more advanced lifter, but I do put them on a step up from what they're doing. We're going to kind of test them a little bit, challenge them a little bit. We're not trying to punish them, but we're trying to ease them into the right direction. We're trying to, to test them, this, to make them take a step up and to see how they respond. And with, um, you know, with a fair share of my clients, it is a test. It is definitely a step up and they feel more tired. They feel more worked. Some of them, uh, will comment, you know, after the first two exercises, my performance really, uh, you know, decreased, et cetera. What do I do? You just stay with it. You got to build some work capacity. You got to build, um, some mental fortitude, you know, some mental strength, et cetera. So, there's a tendency when you move from, for those of you that aren't getting results, when you move from what you're doing to a program that is effective, you'll feel a little bit more worked and you might get the paranoid feeling that, hey, I'm overtraining. Is this too much? No. Generally, what you've been doing is undertraining and all the masses out there that aren't building muscle, that is the worry. Are you undertraining? Are you undertraining? Because there is such a, there is such a hesitancy to push yourself when things start to feel like they're pushing back, when the weight starts to feel heavy, or when a workout starts to feel challenging. Look, when you're a beginner and you're starting with 20 pound dumbbell bench presses, and you're starting with, you know, 50 pounds on the machine chest press, it's challenging and you might feel that instability and have that uh, neuromuscular adaptation. But as you start to increase the weight uh, across the board on all these exercises, it's really going to feel like a war when you're going in there. And there's times where you feel like, I can't possibly do this. And you can. It's more of a head game than anything. And when you step up from a program where you're not getting results to a program that's going to get you results, you tend to feel like, holy shit, this is definitely a lot more challenging. And then the thought comes in, am I overtraining? No, no, you're not overtraining. Uh, and you know, there's somebody's going to leave a comment down below. I overtrained in 1979 when I did fucking, fucking, fucking this and fucking, fucking, fucking that. Good for you, buddy. Uh, but for the rest of us, you're not overtraining. You're not overtraining. What you're doing is you're stepping up into a type of workout that is a step beyond what you're doing. It's going to be a little bit more challenging physically. It's going to be a little bit more challenging mentally. That doesn't mean the body isn't going to adapt. That doesn't mean you need any special, you know, you need any special adjustments. It just means you're a little bit weak. You're a little bit under conditioned. And you need to do this type of program for a while to bring up your work capacity and to bring up your mental strength. So take home message, 
be more worried about undertraining than overtraining. When you go in the gym and you get on a proper program and you think, man, this is challenging, uh, 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 and you got that urge to step back, be more worried about stepping back because undertraining is the path to shit's fill. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.